हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एस एस पी मैथ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेक्टर इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस नाउ इन वेक्टर इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज लाइन इंटीग्रल नाउ वॉट इज लाइन इंटीग्रल लाइन इंटीग्रल मीन्स सिंगल इंटीग्रल सर्फेस इंटीग्रल डबल इंटीग्रल एंड वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल इज ट्रिपल इंटीग्रेशन सो लाइन इंटीग्रल इज इक्वल टू इन वेक्टर फॉर्म हाउ वी फाइंड लाइन इंटीग्रल इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ओवर सी एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार और क्लोज इंटीग्रल ओवर सी दिस सर्कल इज कॉल्ड एज काउंटर इंटीग्रल और क्लोज इंटीग्रल ओवर सी एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार सो वेन वी यूज क्लोज इंटीग्रल वेर सी इज एनी क्लोज कर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी इज सर्कल सी इज इलिप्स देन यूज क्लोज इंटीग्रल एंड सी इज ओपन कर से सी इज स्ट्रेट लाइन आर्क ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन और आर्क ऑफ पैराबोला देन वी कैन यूज दिस सिंगल इंटीग्रल दैट इज ओपन इंटीग्रल ओवर सी एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार एंड फॉर क्लोज कर यूज क्लोज इंटीग्रल ओवर सी एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार नाउ हाउ वी राइट एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार सपोज एफ बार इज एनी वेक्टर फील्ड दैट इज से एफ वन आई बार प्लस एफ टू जे बार प्लस एफ थ्री गे बार वेर एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री आर दी फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड and we know that r bar is position vector that is r bar is equal to xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar from that we can write dr bar is equal to dxi bar plus dyj bar plus dzk bar now we have to find line integral so line integral is equal to integral over c f bar dot dr bar means dot product of these two so f bar is this dr bar is this so how we write dot product of these two vectors can be written as integral over c f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz means for solving problems you have to take directly now this dot product where c is any curve may be closed curve or open curve okay then in line integral one uh, important topic is work done sometimes question is there find work done so how we find work done there are two formulas first a work done is equal to integral over c f bar dot dr bar means using line integral we can find work done also and if c is close curve then close integral over c f bar dot dr bar okay and second formula is work done is equal to phi from point p to q so what is this phi phi is scalar point function so when we find phi if vector field f bar is irrotational vector field means if when we use this formula this is very important and when we use this If f bar is irrotational, then use this. Means work done is equal to phi from p to q. And if f bar is not rotational, is not irrotational, then use integral over c f bar dot dr bar. Both of the answers same aata hai. Either use this formula or this formula. But this one is simple. So if f bar is irrotational, then we can take work done is equal to phi from p to q. Now. one more important question is there when f bar is conservative so if work done is zero means if the value of this work done or value of line integral or this work done is zero then we can say that f bar is conservative field otherwise not so when we say that f bar is solenoidal if del dot f bar equal to zero irrotational if del cross f bar equal to zero and conservative if work done equal to zero now we now we will take some problems so first problem is find the work done by the force f bar is equal to x square minus y z into i bar plus y square minus z x into z bar plus z square minus x y into k bar in taking a particle from 0 0 0 to the point 1 to 1 so you have to find work done in taking a particle from point 0 0 0 to 1 to 1 so first if taking a particle from these two points a so if, if suppose if we get f bar irrotational then you can find scalar potential phi and if we get scalar potential phi then we can use this formula for work done okay so first we will check whether this f bar is irrotational or not so when f bar is irrotational if if yes when f bar is irrotational if del cross f bar equal to 0 so we will find here del cross f bar means we have to check first del cross f bar is zero or not so how we find del cross f bar first row is i bar j bar k bar first del vector is so right here daba by daba x daba by daba y daba by daba z 
and third one is from f bar right here x square minus y z then y square minus z x and then z square minus x y so if we expand this determinant then is we get is equal to i bar into daba by daba y of this means derivative of z square minus x y with respect to y is minus x daba by daba z of this where root of y square is 0 derivative of this term with respect to z is 1 so minus x minus minus plus x minus j bar into daba by daba x of this derivative of z square is 0 with respect to x derivative of this term is minus y and minus it's minor daba by daba z of this so derivative of x square is 0 derivative of y z is minus y so minus minus plus and plus k bar into daba by daba x of this derivative of y square is 0 derivative of minus z x is minus z and minus daba by daba y of this so derivative of x square is 0 derivative of minus y z with respect to y is minus z so minus minus plus so all terms get cancelled we get del cross f bar equal to 0 and if del cross f bar equal to 0 then you can say that f bar is irrotational and if f bar is irrotational then we can find its scalar potential phi so how we find scalar potential phi using formula phi is equal to integration of f1 now what is f1 f1 is x square minus yz so integration of f1 that is x square minus yz into dx plus terms of f2 free from x so this is the f2 and terms of f2 free from x is only y square into dy plus terms of f3 free from x and y is only one that is z square into dz and don't take here constant of integration c because you have to take in problem given a limit here from point p to q okay means simply this is definite integral so don't add c so integration of f1 into dx means we have to take integration with respect to x so y and z are constant so integration of x square is x cube by 3 minus yz constant a integration of dx is x plus integration of y square is y cube by 3 and plus integration of z square is z cube by 3 so this is scalar point function phi okay now we have to find work done so how we find work done if we get phi then for work done we have to use this formula work done is equal to phi from point p to q and p point is this q point is this okay so p is 0 0 0 and q is 1 to 1 so how we find work done for work done we have to use phi is equal, uh, work done is equal to phi from p to q point is equal to now what is phi so we will put here phi phi is x cube by 3 plus y cube by 3 plus z cube by 3 phi is x cube by 3 plus y cube by 3 plus z cube by 3 minus x y z minus x y z from point p coordinate of p given in problem 0 0 0 and coordinate of q given a 1 to this point 1 to 1 so from point 0 0 0 to 1 to 1 okay from point 0 0 0 to 1 to 1 so now put upper and lower limit upper lower limit means 1 to 1 means x equal to 1 y equal to 2 z equal to 1 put here so if we put x equal to 1 then 1 by 3 plus y equal to 2 2 cube is 8 by 3 plus z equal to 1 that is 1 by 3 minus x is 1 y is 2 z is 1 so 1 into 2 into 1 is 2 this is upper limit minus lower limit x equal to 0 0 by 3 is 0 then y equal to 0 0 by 3 is 0 z equal to 0 0 by 3 is 0 minus x y z minus minus plus is 0 so is equal to 1 by 3 plus 8 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 by 3 minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 6 upon 3 10 minus 6 upon 3 is 4 by 3 suppose question if we add here uh, additional question is f bar is conservative so this is the work done work done is equal to 4 by 3 
and suppose the additional question is f bar is conservative so 4 by 3 is not equal to 0 from this we can say that f bar is not conservative okay so next problem is find the work done by f bar is equal to 2xy square i bar plus 2x square y plus y into j bar in taking a particle from 0 0 0 to 2 4 0 along the parabola y is equal to x square and z equal to 0 so this is the given now you have to use here work done is equal to integral over c f bar dot dr bar why we use this formula here because parabola given a y equal to x square and z equal to 0 so integral over c f bar dot dr bar how we write is equal to integral over c first write f bar 2xy square i bar plus 2x square y plus y into j bar dot dr bar that is dx i bar plus dy j bar plus dz k bar so how we write this dot product is equal to integral over c 2xy square into dx plus 2x square y plus y into dy and plus 0k bar into dz that is 0 here so we have to evaluate this integral okay now for evaluation of this integral this is single integration so for single integration we want single variable for double integration two variables are there and for triple integration three variables are there so here z equal to 0 given in z equal to 0 using this we can write dz equal to 0 then c is the uh, parabola y is equal to x square c is parabola y equal to x square so y equal to x square then dy is equal to 2x dx okay means for solving single integral we want only one variable so y in terms of x a so dy from that try to find dy in terms of x 2x dx and what is the limit of x here so from point 0 0 0 to 2 4 0 given is so x varies from 0 to 2 x varies from 0 to 2 okay suppose if you write y in terms of x then take limit of y that is 0 to 4 okay so therefore work done is equal to integration of x varies from 0 to 2 2xy square that is 2x into y square now what is the value of y square y is equal to x square so y square is x raised to 4 into dx plus same here this is 2x square y y is x square plus y is again x square into dy dy is 2x dx now for solving this integral take dx throughout common so integration of x varies from 0 to 2 if you take dx throughout common 2x into x raised to 4 is 2x raised to 5 plus 2x raised to 4 2x raised to 4 plus x square into 2x dx okay is equal to integration of x varies from 0 to 2 2x raised to 5 plus 2x into this that is 4x raised to 5 x square raised to 4 into x is x raised to 5 plus 2x cube dx okay so after simplification this is integration of x varies from 0 to 2 4 plus 2 is 6x raised to 5 plus 2x cube into dx and if we take integration here then integration becomes 6, 6 into x raised to 6 upon 6 plus 2 into x raised to 4 upon 4 limit is 0 to 2 so put upper lower limit this 6 is get cancelled 2 to the power 6 plus 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 into 2 to the power 4 minus lower limit is 0 so answer is 2 raised to 7 plus 2 raised to 4 upon 2 you calculate this using calculator okay